A while back, I made a video titled A Cautionary Tale of Comicsgate that got a fair bit of attention in the scene at the time. It told the story of how I managed to refine myself within the culture of Comicsgate. In the year and change since, a lot has changed for me. I made some new friends, lost some others due to the landscape of Comicsgate's continual evolution. Oh, and I recently launched a new book, which was met with deafening indifference by most of the community. First and foremost, my channel has always been where I am unabashedly honest about what I'm doing and, most importantly, what I'm feeling. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about another cautionary tale of Comicsgate. I, I, I won't mince words here. Uh, it, it stings. Spending time and money crafting a book, jumping on streams to try and ingratiate myself and my work to others, trying to be social when I do that about as well as Ray Babbitt, and having my big campaign launch go so poorly that it required air crash investigators to sift through the wreckage and sort out what happened. It all stings. A failing campaign is like having your self-esteem step into the ring with 90s Mike Tyson, and you get rocked so hard that you start to question everything. Your dreams, your aspirations, your goals, and most importantly, your abilities. Why don't they like my book? Why that one and not mine? Why do I even try? Why don't you just give up? You're such a fucking loser anyway. No one will even notice if you just disappear. So why don't you just walk away and give up? <sighs> no. I'm not going anywhere. I've been around CG long enough to know that this is usually the part of the story where the creator looking to break into comics gates starts talking about how the community let them down. How the more successful creators don't support the small timers on the bottom. How Comicsgate is all a bullshit scam because their book isn't succeeding. And that's all bullshit. So instead of wallowing in self-pity, let's take an honest look at why my latest campaign is currently dying on the vine. Number one, it's on Kickstarter. I'm pretty sure I underestimated the animosity people around these parts have for Kickstarter. I mean, at this point, I've lost count of the amount of times I've had people straight up ask me if I would be launching my book anywhere else. So maybe I just don't have the audience or influence to move people over there. Number two, I can't market myself for shit. This is definitely a major culprit. If I had five backers for every time I've heard, you should be doing much better than you are, I'd have, well, more backers. I think my biggest problem is that it doesn't take much for my brain to just short circuit and shut down. So when you have dozens of people talking about marketing in ways that are vague and oftentimes contradictory to one another, it all becomes a headache-inducing blur to me. Also, it turns out that saying, you need to get out there, isn't nearly as helpful as you may think. But regardless, when I say I can't market myself for shit, the subject of that sentence is I, not anyone else, it's my failing. Number three, as hard as it is to accept, maybe the concept just isn't very good. One thing that I have always heard from people, not just in writing, but just about every facet of life, is that I have great ideas, but ideas aren't stories. It's also important to note that while I have several great ideas, I've also had many more that were just straight up terrible. That's what being creative is. You can imagine things most people can't, and sometimes they slap, but most of the time they're turds. It's why if you look at my YouTube channel, you'll see my views range from more than 50,000 to less than 10. That's me. I'm hit or miss. So if this campaign falters, I may simply have to accept the fact that it's a miss. And that's it. Those are the three biggest reasons why the book isn't selling. You'll notice that nowhere on that list is the community, the readers, none of it. Because the reality is it isn't the responsibility of anyone else to make this book successful. It's my responsibility. But as much as this current state of failure hurts, it has also been extremely liberating. Not everything is going to work, so if How to Die doesn't succeed and falls by the wayside, that is more attention that I can put towards finding another story that will. Another comic book series that can be better than the one that came before it in every way. And that's exciting. So here's the deal. If you found yourself on my channel and you want to bring this weird book into the world, the link is in the description. And if you don't, hey, you're not alone. Maybe it'll succeed and maybe it won't. And if it doesn't, I've got more stories to tell. Another great one, in fact, is Listen, which you can pick up for just $7 at the other link in the description. And if you catch this video and you want to leave a comment, either to tell me what you thought or to offer advice, I'd love to hear it. 
I'm going to keep telling stories, keep being CG, and I'll see all you fine folks around the scene. Take care.